Hey everyone, welcome back to Bono's Tech Stuff. This video is a revision video of my last video that I did because Razer released an EC firmware update that made it so that the Razer Blade Stealth performed almost twice as good as it did before. So what was happening is when you would plug the Razer Blade Stealth into power, the CPU was actually being throttled to about half. Now that the update is out, my last video is useless. So I decided to make this video so that we can compare the pre-patch and the post-patch test results. Because what I don't want is for someone to not buy the Razer Blade Stealth based on a video that I did that is incorrect information. So let's get started. Before we get started, I wanted to thank subscriber first name, last name for reminding me about the update. If you need the update, I will put a link in the description. So for this video, I'm going to have the pre-update results on the left and the post-update results on the right. The order will be the same as the last video. Ida64, Performance Test 8 from Passmark, Maxon Cinebench, CPU-Z, Crystal Disk Mark and SSD Z. Again, I would recommend downloading these programs, running them on your machine, and then comparing the results. After 10 minutes of running the CPU at 100% after the update, temps were about 4 degrees Celsius hotter, which is kind of expected. I found the IDA64 CPU test interesting because some things were better and some things were worse after the update. Luckily for me, performance tests did not glitch out this time, and the score more than doubled to 2,417. I have exported the new results, and you can find a link to that in the description. The Cinebench results absolutely blew me away. From 16 FPS to 40 is a pretty decent bump. The CPU test got an equally impressive boost to 316 CB. The CPU Z test has also improved, almost tripling the single thread test and almost doubling the multi thread results. The Crystal Disk Mark results were intriguing to me because honestly, I wasn't expecting the results to improve as much as they did. The SSD Z benchmark results improved almost as well as the Crystal Disk Mark results, which is also kind of expected. And that's it for today, guys. I do have to apologize because of the gaming benchmarking video that I was going to release for the Razer Blade Stealth has been delayed because of the update from this video. And because of that, I have to record all of the gameplay all over again as well as all of the results. If you like the video, turn that thumbs up button blue and make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys next time.